Hello, this is Video Game Stupid. Well, it has been many, many months since I've done anything with this video because, well, um, the video audio for the original, the original audio got cut for some reason. It got corrupted or screwed up somehow, so I had to redo it with post commentary, and I did that months ago. Originally, I was just, you know, talking about a bunch of random shit, and I was also, you know, as usual, complaining about, you know, how Team and Guiders or TNG gameplay, whatever, whatever the fuck wants to call himself, was fucking up, and how, you know, I didn't like anything it was doing. I never, I never agree with anything he does. Everything, every, anything he does is pretty much shit to me. But you, in, in most cases, especially now that he calls me, he made his new, especially with, and this is before his new channel was made. But I look back at it and I thought, you know what, this is not right. You know, I can't post this up. I mean, I was listening to myself. I was just listening how, you know, negative and stuff. I was sounding about, you know, someone who was posting my friend and stuff. It was just, it, it didn't seem right. I mean. Sure doesn't do like the right stuff all the time. He he does weird stuff. Like he does stuff that doesn't make any sense. Like moving channels because it's all cluttered up, and then make another channel that's just as cluttered up. Like right now, but you know he's still he's still a good person though. But recent things have been happening with other people on YouTube. There's always YouTube drama going on. There's always some kind of YouTube bullshit going on. And I definitely in this video I want to make some things clear. Alright, so basically, here's what happened. Um, someone commented, and he was all like, Oh yeah, from now on, I'm gonna say, part, part, I'm gonna say this in, this in the beginning of any, every single video I make from now on, until I feel like it's no longer necessary, I'm going to say something along the lines of not doing a Let's Play Resident Evil outbreak. Because of this one person. But anyway, yeah, let's just talk about this one person. This one person, he's someone who... Who I know personally in real life, he's not just like you know, like just someone that you know I met on YouTube or whatever and stuff. Like I know him, I've known him since he was like, like fucking, like fucking like four or five or something. I know him that long because he's my he's like my one of my best friends, little brother and stuff. But he's almost like a little brother to me and stuff. But anyway, yeah, he fucking well, he made a comment and stuff saying like, dude, let's play Resident Evil's outbreak on a random video, like. That's just kind of the thing, like, you know, when you get home, when you get home, you're looking at, and you're like, seeing if someone comes in or something, the last thing you want to see is someone commenting on a video, like, I'm doing a Let's Play of this game, stuff so Beyond Oasis, and I see this comment saying, do Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Outbreak, like, really? You're gonna post that, like, on a random, like, if you had just posted, like, a private message to me or something, or, like, you know, posted, like, I don't know, something else not on a video, because that's really fucking annoying, it's like... You know, you're doing Let's Plays and stuff, and, you know, I never ask... Here's the thing, I never ask anybody for anything. I never ask anybody to view my stuff, I never ask anybody to subscribe, I never ask anybody to do any of that usual crap that almost every single other YouTuber does nowadays, like, Oh, like, comment, subscribe today, because, uh, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't do that shit. I feel that people should have, you know, enough of, you know, be able to make their own decisions in life, make their own choices. If they want to watch, they then watch. If they want to like, then like. If they want to comment, then comment. You know, I don't. I never ask anybody to fucking comment or like or any of that bullshit. You know, I feel like people at this day and age should be able to make their own decisions for themselves. And I never asked him. He's like, he's the one that fucking wanted to watch my videos in the first place. I never asked him to watch them. I, hell, I didn't even want to, I didn't really want him, I didn't, I didn't even really want him watching them because he's like too young and impressionable to be watching my videos. Like, I say a lot of shit that's like, you know, not, you know, Kid friendly, I mean, I know he's like fucking 15, 16 or something and stuff, but like, seriously, I see a lot of stuff that you really you shouldn't be hearing. But, yeah, he's one I wanted to watch it and stuff, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And he made a previous pre uh, message to me saying, like, telling me how to run my channel and stuff, like, oh, you should probably do this and that. I'm like, S why don't you do that? I'm like, I, I didn't tell him me, I just told him, why don't you go and do everything you just suggested, like, you know. I do what I do. If I want to do that, I would do that. Like, don't tell me what to do with my channel. Like, seriously, that's annoying. I used to do the same shit to teenage guys all the time. I used to tell him that he was doing everything wrong. I still think he does everything wrong now, but I stopped telling him that because, you know, I feel like, you know, it's really annoying and, you know, he does what he does. I mean, he still has his subscribers. If that's what, if he, if he wants to, like, sit there and, you know, do what he does, and then I'm just going to let him do it. I'm not going to tell him that he's doing everything wrong anymore. Even though, he, even though I still think he is. I'm not going to sit there and be like, Oh, you shouldn't be doing this or that. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, why would you make a new channel for no reason? Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do that. 
and it's really annoying, especially when you have like someone who, especially when it's like someone with, like what, like six subscribers. I, I don't care how many subscribers he has. He's fucking like. 15, 16, telling me, like, oh, you should go and, like, do, like, a, like, you should go and do, like, a channel, you should go and do stuff for your channel, like, where you, like, make, like, you know, anime videos, or do, like, you know, those, a bridge series, like, no, I don't like a bridge series, a bridge series, I don't fucking care for it. If I do do anything like that, I do, like, fucking random voiceovers where there's no scripts, none of that bullshit, just having a good old time, saying whatever the fuck we want, and being whatever character... That we're gonna be for that fucking episode. That's what me and Team Engadders and Headmag already did. I already uploaded a, a fucking video of me and Headmag onto the Anime Voiceover channel. I should probably leave a link to that in my. I should probably leave a link to that channel in my fucking um, this um, about me page thing. I'm also about, about me page. Don't fucking tell me what to see. I give people the opportunity when I reach a, a fucking milestone. To, you know, choose a game for me to play or choose something for me to do. And, like, the past few times I've done it, when I did the, when I did the one last year, a lot of people participated in that. The, the, the recent one with the, you know, choose Let's Play in Bioware, only two people did it. It's like, you had your, it's like, two, well, two only, I had, I got 600 subscribers and only two people actually participated. Like, what the fuck? But that, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever at this point. Like, I don't really care. I do this for me. If I wasn't doing this for myself, if I was just doing this for, like, you know, whatever, if I wasn't doing this for myself, I would probably not be doing this anymore, like, seriously. I'd probably not be doing Let's Plays, because it's just, like, sometimes it feels like, what's the point? Because it's, like, you know, people are just going to be, like, uh, or either people are just going to be bashing, or just not going to be, like, really active, or they're just going to be, like, you know, yeah, not doing anything, or get pissed at you for whatever fucking stupid reason. It's like, this fucker wants to condemn me and stuff. I was like, you had your chance. I had my 500, 600 subscriber special going on for like, two months. And only two people actually fucking participated. Out of 600 people, supposedly. Out of supposedly 600 people, only 200, two people actually participated. And the rules are, I, I thought they were pretty fucking straightforward and clear. Like, you want to go and fucking give me, you know what, fine, fuck it, I don't really care, it's like, whatever, I don't do this for, I don't do this for him, I don't do this for him, I'm not doing a Let's Play Resident Evil Zero outbreak ever, actually, I already, uh, yeah, I already did a Let's Play Resident Evil outbreak, I mean Zero, it's, it's, I'm, what am I doing, I'm doing that right now, I'm, 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 that's, that's what I'm finishing right now, that's what I'm finishing this game for, post-commentary style, <laughs> but yeah, another thing, I was watching a, um, a video of someone's, of, uh, you big YouTuber persons and watching that recently and he said something and at the end of the video he said something along the lines of you know hey y'all y'all come come hit me up on Facebook and all that other bullshit and I was looking for the comments because usually like looking for the comments you know the usual mindless drivel like oh my god you're so awesome I'm a piece for you are oh oh you are the man oh my god oh. you know yeah usual mindless drivel that people of his status and success usually receive and I saw one comment that just hit me. It like it was like wow, wow. It was like it just made me go like wow. Basically, the comment stated, and it was I think it was, it was I think it was from a girl. She said, "And what do we do? And what do we do if we see you on Facebook? We don't want to. It's like we don't feel like trying to disturb you or make you feel awkward or anything. I'm just like wow, that's so true. It's like." It just hit me because it just made me think like, what point does it become when a YouTuber or a person on YouTube becomes way too popular or big to like you really, to really talk to, you know? It's like sometimes it just seems like a lot of YouTuber people just seem way too popular or big or whatever to actually, actually really engage in a conversation with or engage in anything with, like, or even be able to meet them in person, like, it's like, damn. It's really made me think, cause it seems like that's the case. It's like this person's talking about like hit me up on Facebook and whatnot and stuff, but it's like, it's like, is it really okay? Is it like, I don't know. It just seems kind of strange. Like some people's lives seem way too lavish to, those. way too lavish and you know all you know like all that fucking cool fucking. Miami, living in California, Miami, shit. It, it seems impossible to actually be able to, like, you know, you know, have anything with them, you know? It's like, is it even possible? It's like, it seems like they're, like, the most unapproachable person in the world. It's like, they're so, they're so, you know, 
big, they're so famous that it's like they're just not approachable. They're not approachable in any way, shape, or form. Not in, not in a real life, non computer screen world. Not in the, not in the fucking computer screen world. No, not anywhere. Not unless you're fucking like as big as them or bigger than them. And I just want to make it clear. I'm, I'm not trying to be like that guy. Like you know, oh, don't fucking tell me what. I, I just don't like people. I just don't like people. Like I like doing what I do because it's what I like to do. I don't like doing it for other people or anything like that. Sorry to say, I mean, if you wanna if you wanna find somebody like that, then go then go to fucking uh, TNG gameplay team and guys. Fucking he wants to call himself Seeker French Fry now. Go fucking his channel. He's always saying, you know, give me a request for a let's play. Give him a request for you know a Mario hack and whatnot, or fucking um, you know doing that like comment subscribe bullshit. But, you know, go go hit him up. Don't fucking, don't fuck about me that bullshit. I, I like to, you know, I choose a game I want to play, and then I play it. If I reach a milestone, and if I feel like, you know, doing a milestone thing, you know, contest thing, then I'll do it. And then that's, like, pretty much your chance to grab and go. Your chance, to, your, anyone's chance to, like, grab and go and be like, you know, play this game. Play this, go buy this game. Go buy, go buy this fucking game. Go play this game. Go get this game. Whatever. But I'm not gonna just sit there and do like a let's play just because you like fucking uh fucking demand in the comment section PLAY THIS GAME like some fucking twelve year old Call of Duty adult little fucker who's sitting there who wants instant gratification twenty four seven. Ain't that ain't that kind this ain't that kind of channel, so go fuck off. Right now, I'm serious, right now, if you're one of those fucking twelve year old fucking Call of Duty adult motherfuckers, get the fuck unsubscribe right now, get the fuck off this channel. You're not gonna get your instant gratification. Go find instant gratification somewhere else. Bad enough, I can't really reply to comments anymore. I'm not even gonna. Don't even bother asking me to uh, sign up for that Google Plus bullshit either. Google Plus can go suck their dicks. Oh, another thing, another very crazy thing. Apparently, Microsoft is paying people. Paying big YouTubers to go and uh, talk good about their fucking Xbox One. Ugh, that's pretty gay. That's pretty fucking gay. Like, X Microsoft, you know? I don't know. Recently, I've just been like, have like no opinion of them recently because I haven't even touched my Xbox in like ages. Ever since I finished Tales of Vesperia. I've barely touched it, and then recently I've just, like, not played it at all for, like, about, like, a whole, like, two or three months. And only, like, recently I started playing, um... Actually, only recently I started adding new soundtracks to my, um... New OSTs to my Xbox again. I started playing some Lollipop Chainsaw. And I got kind of tired of that, because it was hurting my eyes. And then I fucking... I played Bullet Witch, which is definitely a lot more fun. I don't know why Bullet Witch is... Bullet Witch is, like, a lot more fun just because it's, like, so random and glitchy. And there's so many crazy shit that happen. Crazy shit that happens in the game, whereas, like, Lollipop Chance, that's just way too, like... I don't know, I mean... Yeah, the game is fun, it's a, it's a, it's an awesome premise, but it just seems way too, like... I don't know, it's... It's just not as fun as playing a game like Bullet Witch. I don't know why, it's just weird that way. I'm just weird that way, I guess. But yeah, anyway... Xbox, they're, pay they're apparently paying, um... YouTubers to talk good about the Xbox One and like say only positive things and they can't say anything bad about that. They're like on contract now. But I mean, the kind of thing goes on for anyway and stuff. I mean, like a lot of people get paid money just to talk good about their products. But it just seems kind of stupid that the Xbox, Microsoft had to do this for the Xbox. Like, shouldn't it be good enough on its own so that people don't have to like be paid to talk good about it? It means that, it means obviously that they're not fucking, it's not as good as everyone thinks it is or it's not good at all because if you got paid people on YouTube to talk to talk positive about it that's pretty bad that's pretty I don't have one I don't really plan on getting one anytime soon at all neither do I plan on getting a PS4 anytime soon I just got a PS3 like a year ago just a year ago I only have like a few games on it I beat MGS4 on it that's pretty much it I didn't beat any other games on it I still haven't beat Folklore yet. I haven't beaten Ninja Gaiden Sigma Black or whatever the fuck it is. I don't think I'm beating it because I tried to boob jiggle on that with the six axis and it didn't work. So I'm like, fuck it. That's the only reason why I bought this version. I don't care anymore. I also play as when we. I also play as like Ionium Omiji and of course 
um, the other character that's in the game. There's Ayane, Momiji, and some other fucking per Rachel! Yeah, I think she's in the game. But it's like, whatever at this point. What the fuck ever. Yeah, so pretty much at this point, I should probably talk about what's actually going on in the Resident Evil Out Zero. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going through using that strategy I was talking about in the last part. You know, you kill all the monsters first, and then you, like, you know, look at the leech, but then don't pick it up. So that, that way you can check the map. After you kill every single monster, you can check the map. <coughs> check the map screen and then find, like, see the location of the leech, and then pick it up. It's very long, it's very long, but it's definitely easier that way. And you have to worry about having inventory space being taken up by the leeches, because you can't drop the leeches once you pick them up. You can only hold 10 leeches per slot. So if you have like 50 leeches, then you're pretty much screwed. It's, well, if you, have 50, if you have 50 leeches while you're killing the monsters, while you're killing the zombies and B.O.W. still, then you're screwed. But... You have 50 leeches and at this point it doesn't really matter because there's no more there's nothing else to kill everything's already dead supposedly 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 As far as the whole, you know, beginning thing I was just talking about, about the fucking person, the fucking kid who's like all like, eh, he's all comp Basically he said stuff on the lines of like, you know, oh, blah 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 blah, bunch of bullshit and stuff and like, blah blah blah, I don't even know what, it's not even that, I don't know what the hell he said, it's like, I'm just trying to forget really, I'm just trying to like, whatever, and he's like, oh. Uh, I'm going to unsubscribe all that bullshit. I'm just like, okay, whatever. No, I messaged her back and basically said what I said in the video earlier. Like, you know, I never asked, first of all, you're the one that chose to watch my videos. I never asked you to, to watch my videos. I don't ask anybody to watch my videos. If you want to watch them, watch them. If you don't want to, then don't. Then you don't have to. No one's forcing you. <sighs> like, seriously, that's what that's the problem now. I think people try to exert their power for the internet a little bit too much. Like, people think that they have power, they have a certain amount of subscribers, if they have a certain amount of anything on the internet, they have the power to, like, you know, make people do stuff, and it's like, you know, oh, I have, you know, 600 likes on Facebook, do or do everything, do everything, you know, you'll have to, like, send me pictures of yourself naked, or you'll gotta, like, you know, blah, 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 do all this shit, it's like, no, it's like, what the fuck, you're on your fucking computer screen, you don't have that much power, like, you know, maybe if you, like, you know, Maybe if 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 work for a copy or something. You see that? I don't know. That kind of shit seems like it only works on like it really ever works on like in my way in my mind it only works in like you know workplace or you know like real life, not in the fucking internet. And that's the problem. I think people are living way too much through the internet. They're not living enough in like, real life. They're, they're living way too much through the internet, and it's just like ridiculousness. Ridiculous, like... Like, essentially, essentially, this kid's getting all pissed off over a goddamn video game. I'm just, I'm just thankful he's not getting pissed off that I'm not doing Let's Play Resident Evil fucking 4 or 6. Because then I would just be like, you know what, go kill yourself. Go kill yourself right now, please. You're getting pissed because I'm not doing a Let's Play Resident Evil 0 or 5 or 6. Those games are terrible, so just go kill yourself right now. Those are terrible Resident Evil games. 
like, no, seriously, I don't care. I don't care if they have fucking co-op or, you know, fucking, um, mercenaries mode or all other bullshit. They fucking, they are fucking... I mean, mercenaries mode is is okay, I guess, but that's pretty much the only reason why I play Resident Evil 5 anymore. I haven't played a game in like a year, because my fucking stupid, retarded friend, someone, yeah, stupid, retarded, fucking, fat fuck from work, he fucking borrows Resident Evil 5. He's had it for a year now. It's been a year. Because he did like a little, like, you know, borrow trade-off thing. He borrowed Resident Evil 5 in Bioshock, and I borrowed Tales of Vesperia. And he has not beaten Resident Evil 5. He hasn't even started playing Resident Evil 5 yet. And he, he's almost beaten Bioshock, but he's like always like, Oh, oh, I was going to play it, but then my wife said I couldn't use the TV, so now I couldn't play the game. I'm like, you fucking, you fucking suck. Now it's even worse, because now it's like... He used to be like, you know, like fucking maintenance person of the store, evil grocery store of evil that we work at. But now... Because of his situation, his situation it, apparently it's a situation now. If you have a fucking baby, if you're stupid enough to get married at age twenty something, twenty one, twenty, and have a fucking baby without having a secure job, without having like you know, without both people having jobs and shit, and just like one person doing nothing. You know, if you have a baby, then and you're still living with you know your your wife's parents, and it's a situation. Instead of just being called, you know, complete retardation. So they decided to help his situation by giving him... By moving him to a different department in the store. Away from our department. So now it's like... <laughs> we're pretty much screwed because he had this fucking dumbass... This other dumbass fat fuck who is so fucking lazy. It's not even funny. Like, so, well, like we have these fucking... I've, I've, I've explained this before many times. But we have like these bins. These, um... Plastic cans and glass bins where people return their recycle their bottles and stuff, and they have to be changed every once in a while to get full. Well, this fat fuck is always like, like he'll check it. I guess he'll check it early in the day, and then it'll be like he'll leave it there for someone else to do. It's like if you're the one that took it out, you have to. You don't just leave it there in the bottom room. You have to actually take it to the back. You have to actually take it out on the cart and roll it off to the back section so it can be picked up by the truck. But this is a dumbass motherfucker. He just takes it out the bin and then leaves it in the corner in the bottom room still, not even, like, fucking bothering to take it out. And that zombie's still alive. He's, like, just waiting. He's just waiting. You gotta be careful, though, because I think... Oh! Bam! Crush that head. Oh! Oh, bam! I was doing that on purpose, though, because if I let Billy... See, Billy's in poison status. For all I know, poison, you know, that generally reduces your health. And for all I know, Billy could be at, you know, danger status, right? He could be at danger red status right now, but I don't know it, because the poison status makes it look like he's in the green, because the way the EKG meter, the EKG um, wire thing, that the way it moves up and down, it looks like it's like in fine or caution status, but he's actually probably in danger. It's no way to tell. And if Billy got bit by one of the zombies, he would probably die, just from a foot bite. So get him bite in the foot, he would die. So I had to have Rebecca go take the hits for him because she, she'd be able. She's in, she she. I can tell what, what her health is at. They'd be putting Billy in too much risk. What the hell was I talking about? Uh, yeah, fat, yeah, stupid, lazy, fat fuck. I mean, I know, I know, he's like. I mean, he was moved from a different department, department too. Like, everyone... They moved a bunch of people from different departments to a new department. It was pretty retarded. Like, I don't know why they did that. It's like... Just because... And I think the only reason why they did it was because of the baby situation. Like, you know, this stupid fat fuck. You should have been smart enough to, like, you know, keep it in your pants and not fucking... First of all, getting married at age 20-something is not really that smart. I don't... That's not... I don't know why people get married at so such early of an age... I mean, hell, his par his parents, his parents are like fucking fifty or sixty years old, and he's like twenty. So that basically tells me that they had him when he was like when they were like in their forties. So I don't know. I don't know where he gets the idea that 
getting married, especially when you have a fucking, you know, sure he has he had a lot of hours in the department in the maintenance department where he's working at at the grocery store of evil, but <clears throat> not really a secure enough thing to do. Like you're not really getting enough hours. Then again, I think the only reason why I got married. Well, I don't know. I don't really fucking. Know. I don't really fucking. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. And then you have a kid. It's like, really, you're gonna have a kid? Like that's smart, because you know, today's economy. You know, it's really good. It's a really good idea to have a kid nowadays. Like, it's really, really smart. Like, let's just get, let's just get a bitch pregnant, and that baby come out, and then we gotta fucking pay for all this craziness. People really need to stop doing stuff. We need to stop. People rush way too much. People just rush. They're just rushing. They're not even American anymore. They're just rushing. Fucking rushing. Rushing to do everything. Rushing to have kids. Rushing to get married. Rushing to have sex. Rushing to do drugs and alcohol. Huh? I'm so tired, but I don't do alcohol and drugs now because. I want to do it. Uh, it's cool. It's really cool to do, guys. Uh, I want to be just like that guy. He's like that guy who it smells like, you know, garbage. And he's like a hobo. And he has a dog with him that also drinks alcohol, too. Because there's nothing else for the dog to eat. I want to be just like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically the mindset of most people now. It's like, you know, just rush to do everything. And then they end up fucking themselves over. Hard. It's like they're fucking a stranger in the ass. But the stranger is their own ass. So they're fucking... They're fucking themselves in the ass. They are the stranger that is fucking themselves in the ass. That the stranger is getting fucked in the ass is their own self. It's 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 a, it's a vicious cycle. It's not good. It's not good for the soul. It is not good for the solar system. Yeah, so pretty much I'm almost done. I'm like halfway there. This takes a long time. This takes a really, really long time. Just gotta go from room to room. What the hell I'm doing here? I think I was trying to figure out if Billy's status was at danger or not. I was trying to compare Rebecca's EKG meter to Billy's. And Billy's actually looks it looks like it's in fine position because it's like the way the EKG meter goes up and down compared to Rebecca's is like a lot higher. And I think the higher it is the better. And if it were lower it'd be going like a, uh, almost a straight if it were like a danger we go like a straight line almost it'd be like almost a straight line across the whole entire EKG meter but it wasn't but then again look at Billy he's like holding his side that's you only did it if you're like caution orange or danger and if this was Resident Evil Code Veronica he would be limping too but I think that's the only game where I think if you're at danger status, you not only are you like holding your side, but you're also limping horribly, and that makes you even slower and easier to kill. Oh yeah, one other thing I figured out is it's actually possible to do co-op. It's extremely limited. It's extremely limited to the highest power, but it is possible. It is freaking possible. I was testing this out before months ago, but anyway, here's what you, it's only it's it only works for the Wii version, obviously. But um, here's what you do: you have the GameCube, you have you have to have a GameCube controller, 
either a GameCube controller or um, the GameCube um, fucking the, the classic controller. Actually, don't even use a, don't even use the classic controller. Use the GameCube controller. You have a GameCube controller, okay? The GameCube controller. And then you have the Wii mode, the Wii nunchuck, and the Wii mode, the Wii the Wii fucking controller thing. So you have those two things. Now, the GameCube controller would basically be player one. Or the the primary character, the one that's on the right screen in the in the uh, the menu, the one that's on the right side of the screen on the menu. Let me see if I open up the menu so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yep, right there. See where Billy is? That's what that's the primary character right now. So basically, you have him as a primary character, character. And then the Wii Mote. Actually, you don't you don't, you don't even need a Wii Mote. You just need to. Actually, you don't even need the nunchuck. All you need is the Wii Mote itself. Now, the Wii Mote will be the secondary character, which is basically Rebecca. Now, here's the thing: on the Wii Mote, if you press the directional buttons, that controls the secondary character. So, in a sense, yes, in a very, very strange but real sense, you could do co-op. You could do extremely limited. You can't control the actual character. You can only the only person, the only thing that a secondary person be able to control is the second character's movement. But hey, it's something. It's something. Like if somebody wanted to do a co-op let's play this game, it is possible. They probably fucking die a whole lot, or if they're really good at controlling your secondary character and making sure they it could be a distraction, be like a really good distraction. Then yeah, this this could be a really interesting let's co-op. Yeah, that's what I figured out a few months ago. It's pretty crazy. I thought about like, huh? I thought about for a lot of games actually. Like, what if you use the Wii modes? Yeah, kill that zombie. Now, what if you? What if you use the Wii modes? But then had the GameCube controller for one game. Would the Wii mode be second, like for a single player game, not for like a multiplayer game, but for like a single player game? Would the GameCube could you use a GameCube and the Wii mode at the same time? And yeah, apparently you can. So this is probably this is probably for our several other games too, and like I've I've experienced all kinds of co-op, all kinds of like you know, um, all kinds of crazy co-op ideas. Like I remember back in the day, back in like the nineties, when we, when you know when I used to have friends come over and stuff, and you know we sit there playing Doom. When one person would be controlling a gun. One person would control the shooting, the other person would control the um, actual walking and movement. And the other person would control, like, control the weapons and the gun. That's, how, that's, that's the kind of crazy co-op you used to do back in the day. Like, like you know, you didn't read all this, like, fucking split-screen Resident Evil 5 shit. You just had to have two people playing Doom, you know, you had your little walking, and you're running, and then you had the other person doing the shooting. And we played the game that way, and we beat, and we beat the game that way. It was, it was, it was, it was fun. It's actually fun. It was way fun to play the same game, even though we didn't have. I don't think it had co-op back then. Or we just didn't know how to do co-op because we didn't have internet. Or I don't know. I didn't even know what the internet was back in the '90s. I didn't. I had no clue what the fuck it was. It was like it was like nothing to me back then. It was just like whatever. I just want to play my games. I just want to fucking have fun, play my games. And that's what it used to be. Sometimes I think life would be a lot better that way if we were just <laughs> that way still. Like. You know, if you didn't have internet, maybe life would be a lot simpler, be a lot better, just be less cynical. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's the one zombie alive. Yep, he's dead now. He's dead. I couldn't hear him. But anyway, that's never going to happen. Internet's going to be around for a long time. But it seems now that... Oh yeah, they're trying to pass a bill apparently. They're trying to pass something called a TPP or a TTP or something. It's like a bill is going to censor the internet, internet again and stuff. So it's like, oh, that might happen. And then people are going to have to try to live about the internet and people are going to be crazy. And shit's going to be fucking crazy. Unless this bill is passed. Unless this bill is passed. Can this bill be passed? Only time will tell. <laughs> It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be passed, though. It's not. It's no way it's gonna fucking pass. It's, it's no way it's gonna fucking. They're gonna fucking let the internet be censored. That's gonna be stupid. That's gonna be fucking retarded. I 
can't fucking do that. They can't fucking take away our freedom to fucking look at porn and post pictures of ourselves on Facebook and all this other shit. They can't take that away. That'd be heinous. People would have to communicate with other people in the non computer screen real life world. That'd be scary. That'd be too fucking much. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't like dealing with that shit. I don't like dealing with that shit. I have to go to work. Let alone fucking dealing with it all the time. Shit. Only time I can really handle dealing with is when I go to karate class. Sort of. And when I go to conventions. That's the only time I can really handle talking to people in the real non computer screen world. Yeah, speaking of karate, I got promoted to um, green belt. Uh, yeah, green belt, which is like basically two belts higher than the be be uh, beginning white belt. So that's pretty cool. Because I was already green belt when I left years ago, like about four or five years ago, and I stopped doing karate. But they wanted me back in, and then I started doing it again. And then they're like, okay, you won't try green belt level. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll do it. I didn't think I was ready for it, but I think, I think I'm doing okay, I guess. It's a lot tougher. There's actual sparring involved now, but for the most part, I haven't broken anything yet. I feel like my body is actually getting healthier now. Like, I can move again. You know, I can move. I can, I can walk. My leg, my my knees, my, my legs were the biggest problem. They were like hurting so much. And there's hunters in here still. I didn't kill them. Oh, and there's no hunters. There were hunters in this room, but then they got they disappeared, and for some reason they were, they were replaced with zombies. I don't know why. Just killed them in the face. It's so freaking weird though. It's like... There are hunters there. In the last part, but then we got replaced with zombies. That doesn't usually happen though. I don't think the enemies get replaced usually. Like, not at least not in hunter mode or um, leech hunter mode. It's just really freaking weird. I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. But yeah. More to the Grim Barrel, learn a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. yeah, karate's definitely a lot of fun though. It's like it's like a real life fairy tale. And by that I don't mean like you know a fairy tale like fucking Cinderella or some of that bullshit. I mean like there's this anime called Fairy Tale, incidentally enough, and it's basically about like a it's, it's there's various different guilds magical guilds big guilds guilds of magic with magic users and stuff and one such guild is called fairy tale and it's full of interesting that's where the main character natsu that's the guild that the main character natsu is a part of as well as urza lucy and gray and basically it's full of the guild is full of various interesting characters and crazy magic abilities and stuff and I feel like, you know, karate, it's like, it's like a real life version of fairy tale, essentially. You know, you got various different people, of various different abilities and skills and karate and such. Definitely awesome. It's definitely awesome going there. I mean, I can't go there all the time because of work and whatnot. And I mean, I should be able to go there too. I need to start going there more because it's not, I'm not even, it's like, it's, it's free tuition, it's, it's free, it's free classes, I don't know for how long, probably not for too much longer, because the snow's gonna stop, it's, it's gonna stop snowing soon, it's like, that's the only reason why it's free, because, you know, every once in a while when it snows, if it snows heavily, I go there to, like, shovel, the, basically help out around the place and stuff, basically, so I have to pay for it for now, so while it's free, I definitely need to start taking more classes, Hopefully, get my body in the tip-top shape, and then I can be all like, abs and muscles, all, and be all like, you know, fucking, fucking, like, you know, just abs and muscles and shit, and like, yeah, when I cosplay as Kate Ash, with no shirt, I can be all like, Follow me. have my shirt open and shit, and be like, yeah, cosplaying as Kate Ash from King of Fighters. And also just so that my legs don't become all fucked up again. 
But I think that's it. I think I got all of the leeches. I got all the leeches. I got all of them. They are all mine. This mini game is finished forever. Oh wait, no, it's not. I gotta go to this. There's one more for Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. She got a big ass. Say what you will about her small stature and her and her her less than endowed boobs. She has a big ass. Probably the no, that's that's Claire. Claire, Claire or Jill gets a title, but for but for Rebecca, for her age and for her stature, she has a fucking big ass. It's like, damn. I think ever since there was an evil fucking zero, he's been, she's been like one of my favorite characters in the series. I mean, I like most of the original characters. I actually I like like newer characters don't really like that much like I don't care for Jake I was like whatever he's, he's Wesker's son it's just kinda like whatever and he looks like Eminem that's cool now I guess but whatever but yeah definitely definitely like Rebecca they seriously need to make a game where they like you know show what happened to Rebecca Chambers and what happened to Billy Cohen like it's like retarded Interest it, 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 they, like every single fucking Resident Evil game. You think they're gonna actually do something, you know, to tie up the loose ends of the series? Like you know, tie up the fates of what happened to, you know, Barry. What happened to Rebecca? What happened to Billy? What happened to the Outbreak characters? But you know, they don't. They just make up a new game with a bunch of other bullshit like Jago and the Los Illuminados. Well, not the Los Illuminados. That's not really. Uh, Resident Evil 4, for the most part, I kind of like that game. 5 and 6, I don't fucking care for them. Like, I tried playing 6. I think I already said this in another video. I tried playing 6 and I almost threw up and I just stopped playing. I want to like it. I want to play it because it's like the game where Chris and Leon meet face to face. I want to like the game, but it's just like... I don't fucking like the game. I just don't... It's just not Resident Evil. I just don't... I don't want to play it. Like, no. But yeah, they just come up with a bunch of other new bullshit games like Resident Evil Operation Raccoon Society or whatever that bullshit is called. And it, is, it really does nothing. It's like, it's just like. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be about. Like, what is it? Like, a, another retelling of what happened in uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3? I was like, what the hell? Why not just remake the games for Christ's sakes? Like, remake them like you did Resident Evil 1 for the GameCube, which is fucking probably one of my favorite games of all time. If you make it like that one, but don't make it all bullshitty with the bullshit fucking... Make it like, you know, the classic Resident Evil. It's not like the bullshit they have now. Or if you're gonna make it like... If you're gonna make it like, you know, the cell they have it in now, make it like Resident Evil Revelations. That game is actually pretty fucking good. Aside from the chapters you have to play as Jake, because they're just some fucking, like, you know, Call of Duty fucking chapters almost, but... <laughs> for the most part, Revelations are pretty good. If you're gonna make it, if you're gonna remake Resident Evil 2 and 3, remake it like Revelations. That's what I want to see. Like none of this Operation Raccoon bullshit. Like you just introduce like 20 new characters into the series for no reason. Same thing with Resident Evil 6. Instead of tying up loose ends, well, I guess they did tie up some loose ends. I don't know. I haven't played. I haven't finished the game yet. But I'm guessing they did tie up loose ends of like Chris and Leon and Ada. But you know what? What about Rebecca and Barry? Like Barry and Rebecca. They could, have, they could have had fucking Barry and Beck in the game. Nobody would have introduced Jake and Helena. Come on, they fucking blue random. That would have only had like 199. I would just be like, no! Just be like, throw the fucking Wii out the window. If only had 99 fucking leeches. What an intro. Oh, yeah, it Piers. Piers looks like a fucking skinnier, younger version of Chris. Actually, I, I thought that was Chris. I thought Piers, when I first saw, like, promotional s images of Resident Evil 6, I thought Piers was supposed to be Chris. Like, whoa, Chris looks a lot slimmer and younger. What the fuck? He looks like he did in Resident Evil 1 for the GameCube. That's cool. And I'm like, oh, wait, that's a new character. He looks just like Chris back in the day. What the fuck? Too many characters starting to remind me of Naruto now. Way too many fucking characters in that anime. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know the fate of Resident Evil. It seems like it's going into very, very various places that I do not wish to delve into. Like, I'll probably just stick with the classic Resident Evil games. I'm not even going to try to, like... I'm not going to try to, like, you know... I'm not going to try to get into the newer games. <laughs> Call me nostalgia, fucking... Fuck, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to stick with what I know and what I love. Not with what Capcom thinks everyone else should love or thinks what they do love. Which is basically Call of Duty on steroids. So basically, I'm trying out the um, infinite ammo. The infinite ammo thing. Of course, it's not going to be there. Because you have to start a new game. Game reset. Smack that bitch. Smack that bitch with the Wiimote. You know, that's the problem, though. I don't like using the GameCube, GameCube controller. If only because... To position my Wii... My Wii is positioned too far from my body. So... And the GameCube controller is really short. So I'd, I can't sit on the bed, really. I have to, like, sit on the floor practically in order to use the GameCube controller. That's really uncomfortable. It's awkward. And I don't feel like pulling my Wii out. I don't feel like pulling it out from where it is in order for the game controller to actually reach me from the bed. Because it's positioned in a way that I can't really move it often or at all, and trying to move it is just, like, too annoying. I don't play the Wii enough to actually justify moving it anyway. It makes no sense. Yeah, infinite. I got the infinite handgun. That's cool. Now where's the infinite magnum? I think they fucking lied though, because I don't see the infinite magnum. I'm pretty sure they lied to me. Yeah, I've already seen this cutscene. Happened. I, I thought they were dead. You fought wrong, little girl. You fought wrong. <laughs> yeah, and there's infinite flame, the the flame tail Molotov. So you can infinitely throw those fucking flamers forever. And of course you have bullets. <laughs> oh, it's funny to give you bullets. Like I need them anymore. I don't need your sticking bullets. Good infinite! Cocktail Molotovs! Yeah, burn this bitch to the ground! Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly enough, this save theme is actually a remix of... Rebecca's theme from Resident Evil 1, DualShock Edition. That game has very, 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 very scary music. As in, it's, it's, some of it is really bad and terrible, and some of it just sounds so god-awful that it's just like... It's so, it sounds so bad it's actually scary. Like It sounds bad at first, but then it just gets really scary because you, you're playing this game with this crazy fucking music. And it's just like, oh my god, oh my god, this music, this game, scare. It's all scare. Duh, go away. Go away. Oh. Go away, dog. 
kill the first one. Let me see if that. Don't worry. Oh! Oh! Oh, she getting teabagged by fucking. What's his face? Richard, no. No, it's not Richard. He, he's in the first one. I don't remember who he is. Yeah, Edward Dewey. That's his name. Edward. Oh! Okay, he's dead. Yeah, I think that's Edward. I don't know anymore. I haven't played Resident Evil in like so long. I know there's a Richard Ike and he's in the first one now. And then there's Edward Dewey. And there's Kevin Dooley. Kevin something the pilot. And there's Forrest Spare. And then there's... Enrico Marini. Now I gotta go fight the Legion, there's Kenneth. <sighs> so I have infinite cocktail molotovs, you can just throw it at him and then just kill my free heads. He's dead already. That's pretty cool. I mean, not as cool as a Magnum, but still, you can kill him in free hits. And if you kill, if you kill Leech Man without, you know, if you kill Leech Man with flaming objects, he won't explode on you. Because when they explode, it usually kills you or it puts you at danger status. Which is never a good thing. Zomba! Move, Billy, move! Move more, Billy. I'm gonna get you. Oh, we didn't get you. I like how it hit, like, the row right in front of that zombie, and somehow it ended up killing him anyway. Like, that totally should not work what it did. I guess some, like, a little bit of flames flew off from that one Molotov and it just reached them somehow. Mmm! Ow! Ow! Zombie loved that little meat, that little 18 year old meat. Dead. It's like, holy shit, she's already in danger. I think she's, I'm pretty sure she was at fucking fine stats, but now she's at danger. And I quit, because, you know, there's nothing else really to show. And I think that's pretty much it. And I'm going to stop it here. And good day to y'all, and stuff like that. And, yeah.